what's up guys so i'm gonna try to make this video as fast as possible because people don't have attention spans anymore and they can't watch videos more than five minutes actually more than two minutes they can't even watch so let's try to make this as fast as possible so check this out i identified atxi this morning i knew it was close to go time this is the strategy that i normally enjoy trading but for some reason we had a lot of uh turbulence this morning so I knew this um, stock right here, it, it was already like close to go time. It was supposed to explode just like it did over here. But for some reason, it I knew this also go time is also a resistance. So always be aware that go time is a resistance. Let's zoom in a little bit, actually. Um, go time is a resistance. So, of course, I'm watching it very closely to make sure that it goes up. You know, when I jump in, I'm I'm. I'm watching it very closely to make sure that it explodes above go time because if it touches go time and starts going back down, of course, I'm selling. So um, I tried jumping in here. Boom. It hit go time, slam back down first time. So it dropped down. Now, at that point, I identified my um, my support lines. So as you can see, kind of it was kind of bouncing around that support area right there. Why did I draw this line? Because it touched here one time, it touched here two times. So I kind of have an idea that right around this area is going to have a good support. So now I'm waiting for it to go down. And then now I'm waiting for this pullback. This is a pullback. So now I'm waiting for this candle to go above this candle so I could jump in. And of course, I jump in right there and boom, it hit go time again and starts coming down immediately. I sell, right? So now I'm watching it again. So now this is another pullback because this candle is lower than this candle. So now I'm looking for this candle so I could jump in once it goes above this candle. So now I jump in right there and then it starts hesitating a little bit. So I quickly sell and then I see volume kicking in. So I'm like, OK, third time's a charm. Typically the third time it normally explodes. So now I'm like, OK, it's about to explode. Let me jump in. So I jump in right here. And of course, let's move this up a little bit it starts hesitating right around there so i quickly sold so i made my goal i ended it right then and there and of course after i sell it exploded did exactly what i thought it was going to do i knew it was going to go to 635 how did i know it was going to go to 635 because i go to my daily chart and then i look backwards let's make this smaller look watch this Let's make zoom in a little bit. So if you can see on this day right here, the highest point that it went to was 635. So I knew it was going to at least climb up to about that 635 area because that's the new uh, uh, resistance, right? That's the new resistance. That's the resistance. It had a problem when it went there. So I was anticipating it to do the same thing. And if it goes above here, obviously the next resistance would be somewhere around there. You know, if you want to be technical, you draw a line right there. Um, let's go back a little bit further. And it's not going back. So basically right there would be the, now it's doing it. So this thing had a lag this morning. I'm going to show you guys on the video too. It did have a lag. So now you can see um, this thing has potential to go to $12.36. So, but yeah, this would have been the new, um, resistance area that 752 area because you can see it touched once it touched twice so right around that area right there would be the new resistance um but me i just go for 35 45 cents that's all i'm looking to take every day because i just want to hit a thousand bucks a day if i can hit a thousand bucks a day consistently i'm not trying to be a millionaire in one day i just want a thousand bucks there's 250 trading days in the year 250 uh trading day if I can manage to just take a thousand, that's 250K per year. Like if you can't survive off 250K per year, you have an income <laughs> an income problem. Like you have a money problem, you have a money issue. You need to adjust that. So let me play this video so I can show you guys exactly what happened. And let's go ahead and hit the play button. Okay, let's move this a little bit out of the way. I want you guys seeing my money. So check it out, I jump in immediately, of course, it hits go time and starts slamming down. I sell. Now, check this out. This thing had a lag this morning. I'm like, what the hell's going on here? It had a lag this morning. As you can see, it just showed you the lag when I tried to uh, zoom in and out on this thing. Here we go. 
All right, let's go back to the video. So now I'm watching it. I'm watching. I might have to skip a little bit forward here. So it started dropping way down. So I'm thinking, okay, well, it made a big move this morning. So it went from like $3 all the way up to about $5. So maybe some people are taking profits. So I'm waiting for a pullback and I'm also watching VWAP. This is VWAP, the blue line. It's at 571. So I'm also making sure that the next candle that pops up goes above VWAP because we all know I've stated it many, many, many times. If the stock is trading above VWAP, the buyers are in control and I'm a long biased trader. I, I buy going up. So I'm waiting for it to go above VWAP so I could jump back in, right? And take my profits. So now let's try to fast forward this a little bit. Okay, so now you can see it starts going up. I kind of missed my entry because I think I was fumbling a, a little bit. So now it starts going back above here, so I jump in. So now it's, it's kind of hesitating a little bit. It's very choppy this morning, very choppy. So now, boom, it starts going up. I know gold time is a problem. Why did I sell? Because I know gold time is a problem. I know this is a resistance area. So, of course, as soon as it doesn't go above here and keeps going, I'm going to sell. I'm going to take my profits. I'm going to take some wins. I don't want to sell it when it goes back all the way down here, right? So I'm going to take my profits as close to gold time as possible. I can always jump back in, okay? So always take profits because you can always buy more. <laughs> okay so a lot of people you know tend to hold too long and not take gains because they think the stock is going to continue going up and up and up but look look where it's at not right now so if i had held on to it i would have been in the red right now right so sometimes it's always better to just take profits when you have it because you can always buy some more and jump back in and jump back out you can always buy more so always take profits so now I can see that, you know, it did a pullback here. It did a pullback there. I know most stocks normally give you three opportunities. So I'm watching the volume to see if volume is kicking in. I want to see volume along this range right here, right? And then I'm also watching this pullback. I'm waiting for the next candle to go above this candle so I could jump back in. Normally three times a charm and it's supposed to explode above gold time if the stock is strong now if it's not strong it's okay i can take a loss i'm always okay with taking a loss that's one thing you guys gotta always be ready for it's okay to take a loss <laughs> just don't make it a big loss you know what i mean just get out quick if it goes below your entry point um and, and okay so so taking losses basically look i just jumped right back in once it went above this candle so now I can see that it's kind of lingering, it's kind of lingering. So I'm giving it a little bit of time. I'm being patient because I am in the green right now. Um, I mean, I got two wins already, so I'm not in the red. So now I'm just watching it. I'm just watching it. I was gonna, uh, just about to add right there, but for some reason, uh, I didn't get a chance to. It started popping right back up, so it's pretty close to there. So I didn't, I didn't, I was gonna add right there just to better my average. But I'm giving it a little bit of time for it to explode. And, and I'm watching the volume. I see volume is kicking in, volume is kicking in, volume is kicking in, boom. I know this is um, another problem, so I quickly sold. And then it starts pumping up some more. You can see the volume is still rising. So I jump back in for the break. And then I take this profit right there. Basically, I just hit a thousand bucks and then I was done. Okay, that was how the cookie crumbled this morning. Uh, let's close this off. So basically that was it. And of course, after I sold, you guys can see it did exactly what I thought it was gonna do, go to that 635 area. And not only did it do that, but it exploded and went all the way to 956. Now this is something that I wasn't anticipating because typically when a stock is super strong, um, which this one was strong, but it normally does it like right off the bat. It normally gives you that right there in the first five minutes but for some reason it took a little bit longer and me i never trade more than 10 minutes really like if you look at all my um videos i i hardly trade more than 10 minutes so if things don't happen within the first five minutes i'm out as you can see i overstayed my welcome i stayed for one two three four five six minutes of my day i dedicated to this thing and it didn't do what it wanted to do so I got out. I mean, I made a thousand bucks, but it did exactly what I thought it was going to do. And I was going to sell just right around there anyway. So 
I probably wouldn't have waited around for this. So the 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 goal, the main like mind frame that you should have, like the goal in mind is to take 35, 45 cents. It's easy to take 35, 45 cents out of the market every day. It's very easy to do that. So um, don't try to make a million dollars. Yes, I could have won big if I stayed longer and I kept straighten every pullback i could have traded every pullback but i could have lost big too look at all the people that jumped in right here and look what happened to them there i don't want to be in that category so for me i know the first five ten minutes is what normally does this so what do i do i only trade the first five ten minutes you hardly see me staying over 30 minutes you hardly see me see me staying over five minutes really um i mean look at the time frame here i jumped in here, I jumped, let's do the time thing right here. I actually jumped in at um, 9.30, and I was done at 9.35. So, you guys can see, five minutes of work. That's all I put in. All right, so, if you guys can, um, if you guys want to learn how to do this, go ahead and comment below. If you guys want to, um, um, I mean, this is... <laughs> What can I say? If you guys don't want to learn this, that's on you. But if you guys want to want to learn, comment below. Hit my email. My email is below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, this is just like, obviously, this is my bread and butter because, you know, you can make money every day, day trading. But when it comes to real estate, you know, I'm looking for more properties to buy you guys. And I haven't gotten any emails from any of you guys. And I see the views. I see you guys viewing my videos. I'm not getting the likes. I'm not getting. I see you guys. I see the views. Like you guys. I can see you guys are viewing my videos. So hit the like button at least. Or or if you don't like it. Hit the don't like button. Let me know if you don't like it. And let me know what you don't like. At least I have an idea what, what's going on. You <laughs> know don't just watch my videos and then don't comment and don't say don't be a ghost i don't like that don't watch my stuff then like block me or or if i find out i'll block you you know just don't watch my stuff if you don't like my content if you do like my content go ahead and like and subscribe all right and um share my videos you know i'm trying to get to a thousand uh subscribers so the sooner i get to a thousand subscribers the better and then I can start doing like giveaways. You know, I like doing giveaways. I like to give people money. I like to I like to do these type of things, but I'm not gonna do it if you guys don't reward your own self. You know, the way you reward yourself is you sharing my videos, liking my videos, and then um, you know, once I get to where it's a thousand subscribers, then I'll start look at this thing. This thing's going crazy again. I'll start giving away some some like free knowledge, like one on ones. I'll do Zoom with you guys. You who knows? I'll pick a couple people and I'll do a free Zoom class or something like that. And I'll show you guys how to set up your your account. I'll show you guys everything. I'll show you guys my strategy, how I'm doing it. Um, there's several different strategies that I utilize, but there's one go to strategy strategy that I'm always like that's my go to strategy. Obviously, I know a few strategies, but there's one in particular that I teach new people and it works for them. Um, it's pretty, I mean, if you follow the system, you should be able to um, do pretty well. You know, we do have hard times. Uh, we do have like sometimes false breakouts. We, you know, there's, n there's no such thing as guaranteed money when it comes to investing. But if you have a strategy, you know, you're pretty much, you know, the odds are in your favor. All right. So I'm going to end it right here. I don't want to make this video super long, even though it's already super long. But I had to get this out there. Um, I need real estate deals, you guys. I want to buy some more houses. I, I need some more rentals. I need, like, it's almost the first of the month. Today's the 27th. And every month I get tenants who pay my who pay the rent. And I'm not getting enough rent. <laughs> I'm not getting enough rents right now. So I need more properties so I can have more rents. I don't think I'll ever have enough properties. I think I'm gonna keep saying that every time, no matter how many properties I have. But the case, the the point is, you know, don't just settle. Just keep going for more. That's just how it is. Anyways, I'm gonna end it here. I'll catch you guys. Look at this thing. It's halted again. This thing's exploding again. This thing's like, but it's very choppy. I mean, it just went down to seven dollars. Now it's back up to eight dollars. It's probably gonna go up to that. 
what did you say? I said, what, $13, 12 like right there? Well, 7 it's already hit that mark. Um, it's probably going to go up to that $12 area by the end of the day, I'm pretty sure. But let's see what it do. And I don't, I don't like, um, predict the future. I trade the now, okay? I trade the now. I never predict the future. I never, I just know I need to take 35, 45 cents. And these stocks that I trade, they give me more than that. Like, look, this thing started at five, five something, and it's at eight something. That's more than 35, 45 cents. That's all you need is to identify these stocks and take the gains and cut it off, shut everything down, and be consistent about it. And that's it. All right, guys, I'm out. Chat with you guys on the next one.